five one versus Scythe. Five to one, Scythe. Five to one. Five to one. Currently fixing it so it's zero zero. Yeah. Oh, we have the classic. We have the Royal fire emblem Lord. melee battle. Melee fire emblem battle. So I've been talking to Oro about this to see like what stages one should take to mark. Thing is, both are very good on the same stages and both are bad on the same stages. Yeah, it's really just personal preference. It's knowing the matchup and personal preference. Yeah. Right. And how this matchup works is. Oh wow! What a great forward smash by Scythe to start that off for so the first stock. Nice. And he retaliates with another one! And retaliation with a tipper, we're back at even game. This so, is why these matches are right. Tight. Yeah, so... Roy definitely has more killing power overall. The problem is he has problems setting it up. Yeah. Now, Marth has a lot more setups, but he has a hard time killing people. Against Roy, it's a little different because his recovery is so poor. Both, but, have, both have to but play this. But at the same time, now, in PM, Roy has really good combos. Like, he has actual follow-ups now. Yeah, and it's, he's not hitting a wet noodle in the air. Now, yeah. how, this, how both characters work is they both have soft underbellies. Thing is, Marth likes to go in the air more with those forward airs, while Roy likes to play to the ground more with those down tilts. Yeah, but as they, well as a... Both have a strong shuffle game, but I would say Roy's is probably a little bit better. I would actually say Marth's a little better because of his tipper. No, the oh, shuffle, for God. the shuffle game. Oh, shuffle game, yeah. Both have really strong nares for shuffle, but Roy can also shuffle that down air for, to great effect. Yeah. Those, oh, the crouch cancels. Both can crouch cancel each other to hell and back. Yeah, exactly. Not a lot of downward knockback from either of them, or really just oh, knockback in general. Outside of a select few moves. Roy is our boy, and Marth, Marth doesn't have heart. He's got a tiara. Roy is definitely our boy, though. Oh, oh the those are first, first up B off the stage for great. What? Hi. Great option. Oh, those oh my god, the to tomahawk. Grab. The tomahawk into a turnaround grab. Those empty, those empty drops are so funny. Sight's combos with Roy are insane. I really need to take some tips from this. Yeah. I'm pretty bad with Roy. Oh, that, that forward, forward tilt for the space was great. That's one of the things Roy's got advantage on yeah. Marth. That new forward tilt has insane range. Yeah. Just trying to play out of great each other's spacing. Spaces. It's a great spacing tool for Roy, and especially in this matchup. Yeah. Oh, but Marth is oh, Marth's great too tipper. quick. Too fast and has got good grab setups. Oh, they just keep adding power for pound with each other. Yeah. They won't stop. Now, the interesting part about this matchup is that high percents both have trouble killing each other in high percents due to how how reliant their setups are on being at certain percents. Yeah. So, Roy's down tilt, which is usually a great setup for virtually anything, at high percent sends them simply too far for them to really get a good follow-up. Likewise with Marth, grabs send them too far. Oh, that's oh, scoop right. off. That, I've tested that, and it hits way off to the like, Yeah, it hits area. almost to the circle. But that can play to the advantage, because Roy does Marth actually can counter that. Yes, exactly. Marth can counter... Both of them can edge guard each other fairly easily. Like, edge guards for these against... It gets There's, ugly. You, with the new sh with the melee shields that they finally introduced to PM, you can do the same shield trick that you would do in oh, melee against Marth. Oh, and a great back air to finish it by sight off of miss tech on the top platform. Yeah, I was about to say, was that a miss tech? But it yeah, was. he was a miss tech with a great follow-up by sight. Yeah, that's really bad. So these stage selections are really just going to be about personal preference. Would they feel more comfortable? Right exactly. Now? There's no stage that really favors one over the other. Yeah. It's the debate. Mm, wonder. They're going so for we're going to open space. CS2. Both of these characters have great, fo great follow-ups when the other's on the ledges. Oh, an early spite up. Great tipper. He's just and keeping them off. Five to one is just. Starts off with a rocket. Oh god. Just keeps going with another the grab. Yeah. Four Roy, grab and take it yep, Roy having a heavy cover. weight allows him allows Mark to get some follow-ups on his fourth throw really to like fairly high percents. Much higher than a lot of characters. Oh, oh that that, that down tilt to push him off the stage. Funny thing is both have that same weakness too. Yeah. It's a matter you gotta anticipate. 
Roy's down air is so much smoother than people would think. It's a little awkward yeah. on his hitbox, you have to aim for the head to get the flame effect and the spike. But the other part is that the up air juggles, all, juggles and approaches incredibly well. If you can down tilt, oh. you can down tilt with Roy, and especially against Mart's weight. Wow, great combo from five to one. Five to one feels more, much more comfortable in this kind of stage. Yeah, right you can see. You can see he really likes this stage. He likes okay. the fact he's got more room against Roy, so he can space yeah. out more properly. And he's got those platforms makes a sick setup. And a good back, good weight by Scythe to land the forward tilt to kill. Yeah, high enough percent that virtually anything would kill him at that kill mark at that point. Yeah. Oh, both go for the oh, awkward trade grab. A lot of dash dancing right happening right here. Both oh. have great dash dashing and grabbing dash grab games. There's like, some good some good D going on right now. In this matchup, you're gonna see this matchup's fairly similar to like a Marth Ditto in melee, where you'll see both characters, both players, just dash dancing back and forth, looking for a grab, especially at low percents. Man, Scythe is going for it all. Yeah. But surprisingly, he's not getting punished for it. Oh those those forward, those forward tilts are spacing. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Great. Charge B. Yeah, those forward tilts, ah! it surprises people at the close range. Because yeah. nobody expects it's a forward tilt. And it's, it's got, got some power. Yeah, that thing's hitbox is insane. Yeah. And it's actually, got great power at close to him, like all yeah. of Roy's attacks, but it's also got good spacing potential. What's really disgusting about it is it's actually got kill potential too. It's a surprise Exactly. Kill. That so, forward tilt does everything. Yeah, but if you use it close and you don't get it, you don't get the hit, or you get shielded, you can you're get, going to get punished. Yeah, you can get shielded, and it can also get what we call Roy zoned, where the hitboxes that are just too DI. far. Where hitboxes are just too far. Got the counter. Oh, great counter. There we that. go. That's that's the bad situation you get. Yeah, exactly. It's the same the other way around as well. Down smash to forward smash. Oh my god, another great four tilt by Scythe. What's oh, this is the he got, this is the air dodge. And he also so, got a little scared there too. Yeah. I don't blame him. Roy can do some really nasty stuff. <laughs> Trying for the juggle and he didn't get anything. You oh, that. He's oh my god, again. a great tipper. Roy's but, little oh, the recovery. Yeah. Roy's little weight at the end of his recovery really helps him get Yeah, there we it go. It gives him a lot of extra like just small bits of extra recovery. And also it allows him to really just avoid getting ledge hog. You know, you'll notice that both of these players are trying to stay away from the platforms, stay off them as much as possible. That's because both of these characters will mercilessly follow up on you on the, if you if you land on those platforms. Oh. And another down tilt to seal the deal against sight. So we go to 1-1. One, one. one guy. They're at 1-1 one, one, though. Oh, they are at one, 1 Oh, you haven't been keeping up. Yeah, no, no, no. Gotta keep up, man. Yeah, it is. Wow. I'm sorry, that was very bad. <laughs> Alright, so we say 1-1 one, one here. <laughs> it's always fun to play both, both Marth and Roy. Yeah. Because uh, you get the best of both. Yeah, exactly. There's oh, a guy. Oh, and Scythe is not fucking around anymore. <laughs> oh. Do we have the wolf? Oh, we have the wolf from Scythe. The Scythe. wolf has been brought out, and he's on a stage. And he's going back to the stadium. With. He gets to go back to the stage because he just lost on it. Yeah, and this is definitely a better choice if you're going to take the run back. Now look, at now he's just staying on yeah. him. Yeah, Scythe's no wolf is really, really good. Very aggressive. Plays a really good aggressive wolf. Dude, those, oh those, my god, those neutral great down smash. smash. Neutral's down. Yeah, yeah, and a good touch. Get him, 5 1. Scythe's yeah. scrub. Scythe is free! I don't know, he's not looking too free right now. I'm he's sorry, not looking someone, someone, someone's gotta have love. He's well. not looking. He's not someone's looking gotta have love for him. Yeah. Plus, he needs to talk me on stream, so. <laughs> I got interesting, love. interesting thing about, uh, Roy, uh, sorry, Wolf's neutral air is that if you fought, let, hit the last hitbox of it as you're landing. Oh, oh my god, a great floor what beat. a setup! A great side beat. Again, those platforms are perfect for This stage is amazing for Wolf. Those platforms are the perfect type for him to side beat and get the sweet yeah. spot. And the able to keep going. Those. He just great. took him in a full circle from platform onto yeah. the ground circle to right back up. Alright, you gotta go? Yes. Alright, All right, good luck, man. Wow. I have been left out now. I'm gonna be myself. Let's see. 
Boss is trying to play that card guard game, but now. Well, uh, okay, so here. Coming in? Yeah. Awesome. Aro's on the stream. What's up, everybody? This is uh, game three. Game three. This is game three. Is this a best of three or best of five? Yes, best of three. Best of three, okay. Only winners finals and losers finals are best of five. Okay, is this semis? Losers. Losers quarters, probably. Losers quarters, alright. Tournament? Yeah. Yes. Five, one, five, six. Yeah, this is fifth, fifth place. Oh, man. Keeping up in Ooh. the air now. This is going to get ugly. But the back air. Oh! No. oh. Okay, he's, he's really got to convert on this. Gets away with it. Nice. Nice. Yeah, he's really got to find a... Patches. He's really got to find a finisher, though. Yeah. Okay, I guess I guess Nair at 170 does it. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, it's one grab away. <laughs> oh, my Dang. God. What the hell just happened there? Uh, you know, he's just trying to dash around Wolf, but... Wolf's got so many active hitboxes around at all times, you know, between lasers, bayonets, shines. Didn't you say, did you big, uh, coin the phrase, hitbox the character? Uh, no, I probably didn't, but, I mean, spaces are hitboxes everywhere. Yeah, but especially with Wolf's neutral air into shine. It's like, how do you fight that? Well, I mean, his neutral air doesn't have the most priority. So you can you can fight it off, but it's that he's he's coming in behind a laser that you have to deal with. If you try to fight the laser, then he's gonna fight where you're fighting the laser, so he's gonna like hit you for it. Ah, uh, yeah, that gets really tough then for the opponent trying to just get around that. Right. Otherwise, you have to jump really high, or you have to shield it, or it's a risk trying to power shield. That. Wow, double Try shine wave land. Shines. Back to a See, it's just lasers are really, you can't, uh, you have to deal with them on the ground basically. Yeah, they're, slow, wow. they're just slow enough so we can get a good setup on it and trick people. Ooh. Oh, gets a reverse grab. But you know, one grab from Marth could easily be the stock too. Yeah. He doesn't have a chain grab from zero like against Fox Falco, but he's damn good at juggling him. Yeah. There you go. Oh, I know he yeah, he does. To a, at least to a decent percent. Up here. But we live in, we live in. Oh, this is tense. Yeah, this is. You really. The edge guards, you know, anything. Gimps. Oh my god. That was a scary roll. Scary roll, Jeez. but he got good D at the end. Slice so playing it really safe, but he's doing a lot of. He's pressing a lot of buttons, too. I mean, it, it's. Ooh, we got something started. No, no, he just oh, missed he the grab. It. Or did he? Oh, oh, shield pokes the Marth Tiara. Unfortunate. Good set, though. That was a good set. In that matchup, it seems like uh, Marth is...